So today we're going to be comparing some budget microphones to mic up my Marshall amp. Stay tuned. Yes, good people, welcome back to the Guitar Manifesto channel. Today we're going to be checking out some budget microphones. The reason I want to check these out is for all my videos over the last four or five years, I've been using GarageBand, uh, I've been using the built in amp simulators, plugging my pedals through and getting my sound that kind of way. But I want to sort of steer clear of using the amp sims and crank up the Marshall tube amp that I've got just behind me there. Now since I moved house I've got a new workshop. I'm a bit more out in the countryside so we can crank that up to 11 or at least it's about 4. So my Marshall amp is a MA50C. It's a valve combo amp. It's uh, pretty loud. It's got a 12 inch speaker. I think these are pretty decent amps. They get a bad reputation but I've used them a lot in the past and I quite like the sound of them and you get them for peanuts. Believe it or not, I paid 50 quid for that. Literally, like brand new, it's hardly ever been used. So I'm thinking that's a great amp to use for my videos. You've got the tube sounds. Obviously, to get the full goodness out of a tube amp, you need it cranked up. So there's a work around that if you use the FX loop and a, a volume pedal. So we'll get into that a little later down the line. But for today, what I want to do is check out these two budget uh, microphones that I picked up off Amazon. Um, compare the two and also compare it against my sounds from GarageBand. And the majority of my videos I've used the Boss ME70 as my main effects pedal so we're going to be using that today. So I've got to get my bins on for this. So the first microphone is a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500. Uh, these are £18.90. It's basically a clone of the SM58. And the next microphone I've got is the Stag SDM70, that's basically a clone of the SM57. Now the differences between the two real microphones, the SM57 and the SM58, is the SM58 has a like a proper microphone filter on it. So you can remove that and then basically you've got an SM57. For today's video, I'm going to keep the filter on. Um, this might sound a little bit more muffled, but you know, that's probably a more versatile microphone as opposed to singing, doing vocals than the SM57 because you've got that filter on it. But we'll just roll with as they are. And if you're thinking about buying either of these microphones, it just gives you an idea what they sound like as is. So bear that in mind. You may get a little bit more crispness with the Behringer if you remove the filter, but we're just going to roll as it is. So for the demo, I'm going to be playing my theme tune track. I'll be playing the lead guitar part, so that's the bit you need to listen out for. I'll be using the Boss Semi 70 with distortion and a bit of delay, playing through this Squire Mustang with the for the hot rail pickup. So there'll be three demos. The first one will be my normal sound with the amp simulator through GarageBand. Then I'll use the Stag microphone through the Marshall, and then I'll use the Behringer microphone. So what I'll do now is uh, quickly set it all up and then we'll see the differences between the three different sound setups. So let's let it rip.
three different setups. We've got Garage Band, we've got the Stag SM57 clone, we've got the Behringer SM58 clone. Now I was just having a quick listen back after recording that demo and I actually personally think the, the Stag SDM70 sounded the best. Just sounded a little bit crisper. The actual Garage Band amp simulator I think did sound quite muddy. Uh, it had a big sound but yeah, I think the two microphones sound better than uh, Garage Band. That sounds a little bit more articulated. Again, that's got the filter on, but yeah. Let me know what you think. I'm possibly leaning towards the stack microphone through the Marshall amp. But let me know what you think to the sound setup. You know, it's just a general idea of what my channel sounds like, my sound is, the distortion, the delay I use. That's pretty much my go-to sound anyway for a lot of the videos. And I think having the Marshall amp for future videos is going to be a lot better than using GarageBand. Again, in the past, I've been a bit restricted to the noise, so I couldn't really crank an amp up like GarageBand. I can record videos and have that down pretty quiet. So just so you know the whole situation. So future videos, I'm thinking the Marshall amp and this little stack microphone again just under 19 quid delivered a lot cheaper than the the Shaw SM57 so yeah let me know what you think to it in the comments section below which sound you preferred whether you preferred garage band the stack microphone or the Behringer microphone so that'll probably wrap it up today if you enjoyed the video please give it a, a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed hit the notification bell stay up to date on all the latest videos also follow me on instagram the guitar manifesto and i'll catch you all very soon thanks for watching peace guitar manifesto.